Are you a student on a very campus? If so, you've probably taken either the bus or the light rail to get to campus at some point. Students who go to your area commonly use transit as their means to get to and from their house onto school. And that kind of had me thinking, just how easy does RTV make it to get from point A? To point B. Wow. The Regional Transportation District, or RTD, currently has a transit system that includes over 170 bus lines and 10 rail lines. But the current operation is a reduced version of what RTD offered before the pandemic. The two lines permanently acts in the wake of low ridership were the C and F lines, which travel to downtown from Littleton and Parker. Manish Shirgarkar is an assistant professor at CU Denver in the Urban and Regional Planning Department. He says RTD's current system forces students into making a decision between two undesirable options. A lot of our students are doing a couple things. They're either paying high rent for tiny apartments or shared living close to campus, or they are traveling from further outside. If they're traveling from further outside, they quickly realize that RTD is probably not going to serve their needs unless they position their rental unit somewhere just so. Sang Nguyen is a student who commutes to school on the W line from Wadsworth. He is content with RTD's service, but still has frustrations with its reliability. Overall, in terms of uh, time, um, sometimes there's moments when you're there early and it's like late, um, maybe like a few minutes late. And then there'll be times when you're like maybe one minute late and then it was early and then it disappears on you. Frustrating situations like this lead many students to give up on the idea of commuting by train. It can be a difficult decision between driving to campus and using up gas, or taking the train and waiting long times. Consider by contrast, the metro system here in Seoul, South Korea. There are over 300 stations across Seoul's metropolitan area and over 100 bus lines. If you miss your train here, you typically only have to wait about seven minutes for the next one to arrive. But during rush hour, that wait time can drop as low as two minutes. Residents here pay for fares by carrying a reloadable fare card with them at all times. They can even use their phone if they are so inclined. And on top of all that, every station and every train car provides free Wi-Fi for all riders. Impressive as it is, it is important to remember that Seoul's subway system operates on a massively higher budget than what RTD is given. Nevertheless, it lays a blueprint for potential changes that could be implemented right here at home with the proper attention and resources. RTD is working to combat problems with the security and safety by adding turnstiles to Union Station and increasing the amount of security officers present on cars and at stations. However, RTD says there are no plans to increase operating frequency due to staff retention issues. For the Met Report, I'm Brendan Gillis.